so in the past two to three tutorials uh, we seen uh, like a four bit adder using full adder and a four bit subtractor using full adder and a full adder using half adders all these things by using the concept of instantiation now similarly in this video i am going to explain how to write verilog code for 16 bit adder but instead of instantiation let me explain this in the format of behavioral level of abstraction why because see using such type of instantiations you are thinking a code will become very big right but by using single statement also you can synthesize the same circuit but this time the synthesizer will synthesize the circuit on its own without your interpretation or without your idea of how the structure should be okay it's if you like if you write code in the behavior level of abstraction it's like you are leaving the entire design to your synthesizer and to its thought thought process only it will uh, read your code it will analyze and it will synthesize on its own so you as an exercise or homework you can implement the same 16 bit adder using a 4 bit adders or using an 8 bit adders and that 8 bit adder using 4 bit adder and that 4 bit adder using a 1 bit adder so you can increase the complexity of writing code and you can visualize analyze more and you can learn more on your own so in this video you can see here by single statement you can synthesize a 16 bit adder the output would be of 16 bit sum and at most it can be 17 bit so extra carry so c out and 16 bits of sum and a b are of each 16 bits and input carry of single bit now here you can write star or you can write directly a or b or c i which means that when uh, this is called a sensitivity list whenever there is a change in these variables that a a that means uh, in 16 bits if any bit changes or from b among 16 bits if any bit changes or c in changes then the, this would be executed again now here you will get a concatenation operator this is called as concatenation operator you will get a 17 bits here okay now let us check the syntax the test bench would be similar but instead of single bit now you should give uh, all these bits 16 bit data okay so here for my ease and convenience i used hexadecimal representation you can give binary and write 16 bits all those things it's up to you test bench okay entirely now let me check the syntax here okay now let us simulate and check the waveforms how it would be so for our convenience let us visualize them in the form of um, okay in the form of what binary sorry not binary in the form of decimal okay then it would be easy let us zoom still okay okay now you can see here 10 plus 21 31 and 11 plus 22 33 so here you can see any any anything you can check 13 plus 26 39 in that way it will execute but let us see how the rtl schematics and are because we haven't given anything to the synthesizer right so it, it synthesizes the circuit on its own so let's check how it implemented so far we have taken a full adders and half adders and all with all those we implemented but here you can see you will get a block like this where the operation is going but what's inside that we don't know we we, we unable to know that why because you don't know the idea of the structure that synthesizer design it can be using nand gates nor gates or it can be using anything but synthesizer will give you an output where you are giving input as 16 bits of a 16 bits of b and c in and you are getting a sum 16 bit and a carry one bit okay now let us check the technology schematic this would be in the form of lookup tables okay this is this is common because the as you are targeting an fpga family the lookup tables are common okay now the number of lookup tables you can count it might be same or it might be different like full adders and all because we don't know how the synthesizer implemented the circuit right because simply you, you coded that in the form of behavior level you just gave the behavior of your circuit that is to be so it should perform the addition of these three so the implementation can be of any format so hope you guys learn something new don't forget your exercise that you can do the same thing using instantiation of 8-bit adders and those 8-bit adders you can instant do by using instantiation of 4-bit adders and those 4-bit adders you can do by using a single bit adders so that if you write the complex code then you can visualize and your skills to write very low code will develop drastically 
Hope you guys learned something new. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.